Hello, and this video is a bit different from the usual. It's uh, it's more of a PSA, I suppose, uh, or two. First off, the guys over at Amplify have their own Discord channel now, and there's just an absolute shed loads of goodies you could get your hands on. I mean, aside from the literal free functions and shaders, it's also probably the best place on the internet to get help with your shader building because they've got some verified legit wizards over there, myself not included. So that's the first PSA, and I do recommend that everyone who uses or even wants to use the Amplify Shader Editor should hop on over. Uh, I will leave a link in the description and hopefully see you over there. And I'd even go so far as to say that if you're using ShaderGraph uh, and still want a little help, I'm, I'm pretty sure the guys and girls over there can probably help with that too, but um, you didn't hear that one from me. The second thing I want to say, and the most important thing that I wanted to talk about, is uh, a little repository of cool shaders and custom functions, all free and all awesome. It's been set up by a guy called D. Mevel. I'm assuming that's a nickname, or maybe he's Irish. D. Mevel, I don't know. Uh, and as a fun little fact for you, I say fun, I, I am doing the air quotes. Um, he was the one who really helped me out um, when I was starting to learn node-based shaders many, many years ago on the uh, Shaderforge forums. Now he's moved on to Amplify like myself, uh, and I've bumped into him again thanks to the, uh, the Discord channel. In fact, it was probably a good three or four years ago uh, that I was first poking around trying to find ways of fixing up that weird water refraction issue you'd see in like so many games. Uh, and he, like the absolute madman, has actually worked it out using Amplify Shader Editor, uh, and he's shared it for free. I was going to sit down uh, and talk about the examples that are in the repository, but that's going to take way too long, uh, and the repo is still being added to, so I don't want you to think that like what I'm showing you is everything. Uh, I will just give some quick mentions though. First off, the procedural sky shader from Dmevil. It's similar to Unity's default sky, uh, in that like changing the directional light to alter the time of day will change the color of the sky, but it's got a ton of other stuff loaded in, like clouds and stars and all that good stuff. There's also the water refraction shader that I mentioned just now, uh, with an example scene included, and I am so happy to see this working. Like I even smiled briefly, which is, which is rare. It's got some cool stuff thrown in as a bonus, like that uh, whirlpool normal map and reflections. Uh, oh, and the depth, that's pretty key. Uh, but the best thing about this is just that it's only refracting what's under the water, and you can still see through it, which is just amazing. And the other thing to mention is, uh, along with some free shaders, uh, there's also quite a few shader functions uh, that basically you can now use in your Amplify Shader editor. Some of these have examples with them, some of them don't, but they're pretty cool and easy to use, so yeah, definitely worth checking out for sure. So that's the highlights for me. Uh, I won't go through anything else, but I'll just spam the screen now with a bunch of other stuff that's currently included. Uh, it's not all of it, and as I say, it's still being added to. I may even add my own shaders and scenes at some point, if that's of interest to any of you. Uh, you just have to promise not to skip my tutorials and go straight for the freebies instead, because that will, that will hurt my achy breaky heart. So that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, there is a link for this in the description, uh, and if you don't use any source control stuff, you can just download it all as a zip, but then you won't be able to easily update it when new stuff is released or things are actually updated. Uh, I use SourceTree for this, personally, uh, but other softwares are available. And so yeah, that is all I wanted to say, really. Um, new tutorials coming soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.